So this cut is probably one of the most used words in the hunting world anymore. Everybody's after back straps. You can see there's a lot of meat here and very tender, super flexible as far as any kind of cooking method you'd really want to do with it. Um, but it has, you know, where it came off with a spine and a rib cage here, it's nice and clean. On the outside where it lays under the, uh, under the hide, you know, there's a lot of silver skin and connective tissue that kept everything together. So once you trim all that up, peel that away, be very careful because, you know, you can lose a lot of meat really easily. And then from there, you can go into medallions, you can cut butter, you know, cut halfway through, cut butterfly medallions so they open up and they present bigger. Or you can cut it into roast chunks, sear the whole thing, finish it as a roast, carve it down. Um, you can roast the whole piece like that. And here, this is where it came off of the uh, top of the sirloin and the back leg, so it's a little thinner. I like to just clean this up and knock these guys into little chunks, sort of like beef tips, and you can saute those in a skillet with mushrooms, onions, anything. Put it over a great bed of rice or mashed potatoes. Again, really versatile, really lean, really tender, venison backstrap.